Juliana Rosa and Steven Peterson in the featherweight division. Now, Juliana Rosa, 32 years old, a little bit older than Steven Peterson, a little bit taller than Steven Peterson, and a little bit lengthier than Steven Peterson. I'm going to be honest. Julian is the better fighter wherever you look at the fight. He's taller, he's lengthier, he's a better striker, he's a better grappler, he's got better jujitsu, he's got better wrestling. Wherever you look at this fight, Julian Arosa is the better fighter. And um, yeah, Steven Peterson might be able to pull on some crazy spitty back fist like he did against Martin Bravo, but I'm going to be honest with you, that's not going to happen. Julian Arosa, yeah, he doesn't have the best chin. He's got knocked out many, many times by Sung Woo Choi, Julio Arce, Devontae Smith, Bobby McKintree, um, Taruta in Shahada. I mean, so many times Julian Arosa has been knocked out, but if you're thinking about a guy that's going to knock out Julian Arosa, Steven Peterson is not going to be at the top of the list. He does have six knockout wins in his career in the UFC, only has that one over Martin Bravo, so I don't necessarily think there's going to be a knockout here. Uh, if Julian Arosa wins, yeah, I think it'll be a finish. But, yeah, Steven Peterson needs to go out there and just go crazy with the striking, throw in some huge shots, and just looking to get that knockout on Julian Arosa because that's the main way he's going to win. Other than that, Julian is faster. He's more powerful. He can easily take the fight down and get that dar choke, as we saw in the last fight with Charles Jordan. So grappling, wrestling, striking, wherever you look at it, Julian Rose is going to win the fight, so I'm not too sure if he's going to win by a knockout on the feet or if it's going to be a, a submission here, because um, Steven Peterson has shown a decent durability in terms of the striking and in terms of the shots that he's able to absorb, because if you look at the losses, he's only had one knockout loss, and it was way, way long time ago to Jorge Pacarui, if I'm saying that one correctly, so he's not really one of the guys that's getting finished in a lot of his fights, but Julian Arosa is a finished, he's a finisher, or he does get finished, and I do believe Julian Arosa goes out there, gets a fight down eventually, and does get a submission in the second round right there. It could be a knockout, I, I could, could definitely be a knockout for Julian Arosa, but I'm going to go a submission in the second round by a dark stroke, really good fight in the featherweight division.